We've come to expect the usual suspects to dominate the NBA MVP race over the past few years. The race has come down to Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, and a few other superstars in recent memory, with the Joker taking home the trophy for a second consecutive season in this past campaign. However, we all know that a recent infusion of youth has begun to take the league by storm, and it's only a matter of time before one of these young studs takes home the MVP award out of nowhere. With that being said, let's take a look at some Dark Horse MVP candidates for the 2022-2023 NBA season with a primary focus on young players. First up is Darius Garland. In the 2021-2022 campaign, the Cavaliers magically transformed from a lottery hopeful to contenders to the trip to the postseason. A lot of that magic came from third-year guard Darius Garland, who put an injured calf squad on his back for the majority of the season. Garland's campaign ended with a very impressive stat line of 21.7 points per game, 8.6 assists, and 3.3 rebounds, all of which were career highs for the young gun that showed many flashes of being an elite playmaker. These totals all came without the services of rookie star Evan Mobley, who missed a good portion of the season, as well as big man Jared Allen. Considering Garland is still the focal point of the Cavs' offense, having a healthy supporting cast will bode well for him in a potential leap to superstardom. Now with a healthy lineup should come more wins and an eventual playoff berth for Cleveland. Now it's just a matter of how far Garland can take them in the seeding. The higher they go, the better Garland's odds are to take home some personal hardware. Next up is Zion Williamson. As we get further and further from the last time Zion stepped foot onto an NBA court, more people seem to forget how much of a generational talent he is. While there's some genuine room for concern regarding his ability to stay healthy, there should be no doubt that he's still quite capable of being one of the most dominant forces in the whole league. People also seem to forget that the former Duke superstar also averaged 27 points per game in 2020 before suffering an injury that would cut his season short. Now that Zion has had plenty of time to recover and get back into playing shape, reportedly he's cut some weight too, and a slimmer, healthy Zion should still be ready to explode the season on a Pelicans team that's much improved from the last time that he played with them. If the versatile big man still has the burst that he had in his time at Duke, the league better get out of the way. Next up is DeMar DeRozan, and we know DeMar isn't a younger player, but we think that he's ready for an MVP year. DeMar DeRozan had an absolute career resurgence last season in Chicago after spending a handful of years with both the Spurs and more recently the Raptors. In fact, DeRozan was the consensus MVP race leader about halfway through the year but cooled off a bit as the Bulls suffered some injuries that, in turn, caused their overall performance to dip. Nonetheless, 28 points per game at age 33 is pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Similarly to Garland, DeRozan's supporting cast is entering the season 100% healthy, and he's still looking like the top scoring option in the offense. The return of Lonzo Ball will especially help DeRozan's MVP odds, as the young point guard's playmaking abilities should help to open up the floor and give DeRozan greater scoring opportunities. Next up is Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal spent the majority of his career as a Dark Horse player, period. Unfortunately for Beal, he stuck on a mediocre to poor Washington squad that would be fortunate to make a playoff push. However, if Washington does indeed make it to the postseason, it will be due to a stellar campaign from Beal. Now that Washington's superstar guard will have a full season to play alongside big man Kristaps Porzingis, Beal's scoring opportunities should increase mightily now that he's got a viable big man that other defenses will have to account for. We've seen Beal go on tears before, highlighted by his second half domination in 2020 following an all-star snub. Perhaps this is the year that he and the Wizards put it all together in a sleeper MVP run. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video. We'll see you guys next time.